36 8 diagram arrays. The array of structure. Xiefeng. Everything has a structure, which is the determining factor for the shape and properties of things. The shape and properties of all things, whether it's a mountain, a building, a pencil, a molecule, an atom, a basic particle, a plant, a flower, an insect, a person, a dog, or a fish, are determined by their structures. Without structure, there would be no existence. The distinguishing feature of one thing from another lies in the difference in structure. People look different from each other because their structures differ. The diversity and wonders of the world result from the differences and variations in structures. The taste of sweetness, sourness, bitterness, saltiness, and spiciness is determined by the structure of food. The colors red, orange, yellow, green, indigo, blue, and purple are determined by the structure of colors. The sense of fragrance, stench, pungent, muttony, and fishiness are determined by the structure of odors. Anything perceived by touch is determined by its structure. Without structure, there would be no universe, no life, and no everything. The characteristics of things and the nature of life are determined by structure. Mountains have mountain nature, water has water nature, people have human nature, and animals have animal nature. Everything has its own nature, determined by structure. Some flowers emit fragrance, while others do not. Peach trees bear peaches, pear trees bear pears, but willow trees do not bear fruit. All of this is due to structure. Countless structures of astronomical proportions constitute the universe and this vibrant world. Every entity follows its own kind, each displaying its unique brilliance. All things fulfill their roles and exhibit their talents in an orderly fashion, without any chaos. This forms the intricate structure array. To change the nature of things, one must first change their structure. If the structure of a thing remains unchanged, its nature will not change. Computers are updated rapidly, mainly due to changes in their structures. As a life form, for example, a dog that wishes to cease being a dog and become a human must change its own structure from that of a dog to that of a human. As a human, if one wishes to cease being human and become a celestial being, one must change the human structure to that of a celestial being. All things and life forms are confined to a certain spatial environment by their structures. Humans live in the human world and cannot live in the celestial world. This is the restraint and restriction of the structure array. If one wants to escape from the human world and enter the celestial world to live, one must escape from the structure array. A person living in a marriage and family will inevitably be entangled in the troubles and affairs of marriage and family, making it difficult to break free. To escape from the suffering of being human, one must step out of marriage and family. If you do not step out of family life, do not expect to be free from the troubles and worries brought about by marriage and family. A person living in the human world is inevitably constrained and bound by the structure array of the human world. They must spend their entire life bustling about for food, clothing, shelter, and transportation. Without escaping from the human world, one cannot expect to live leisurely. To live freely and leisurely, one must break free from the constraints of the structure array of the human world. To jump out of the three realms and not be bound by the five elements. To escape from the structure array of humans and enter the structure array of celestial beings is another way of life. So, how does one escape from the structure array? It's simple. Just change the non-material structure of human life to that of celestial life. How to replace human life structure with celestial life structure? The answer is, format human consciousness and reinstall celestial consciousness. As long as consciousness changes, the non-material structure of life will change. Which aspects of human consciousness need to be changed, and which aspects need to be replaced with celestial consciousness? Nationalism, religion, political party, ethnicity, marriage, and family consciousness are human consciousness. Jealousy, resentment, anger, selfishness, greed, laziness, competition, antagonism, and possession are all human consciousness. The pursuit of fame, profit, status, merit, ancestral glory, eternal fame, longevity, wealth, magical powers, and special abilities are all human consciousness. Fear, worry, anxiety, and scariness are human consciousness. 
emotional, and life dependence on external factors is human consciousness. Wanting to change nature is human consciousness. Embracing things as they are, associating with others by following naturally come-and-go relations, acting in accordance with our natures, seizing opportunities as they arise, walking in accordance with the laws of nature, feeling content no matter where we are or what we are doing, following our own nature and being unrestrained, following our destiny and being carefree. These are all expressions of celestial consciousness. Enjoying life, playing, and entertaining oneself are also manifestations of celestial consciousness. Surrendering life to the greatest creator and allowing the process of life to be arranged by Tao, this too is celestial consciousness. To fully understand celestial consciousness, one must understand the lifestyle and mindset of the celestials living in the celestial worlds. For example, understanding the lifestyle and mindset of the celestials in the thousand-year world, the ten-thousand-year world, in the celestial island's continent, and learning from them, imitating them, and embodying them bit by bit. Once human consciousness is replaced by celestial consciousness, one will escape from the structure array set up for humans and can go to the celestial world to enjoy the life of celestials.